Yeah, she's not the uh, last S plus tree spirit hero. We have a brand new hero coming very, very soon. And she is a beast with her bow. <laughs> hey honk, hey honk. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. <laughs> what does she even say? May Lord of the Forest protect us all. <laughs> Did you say anything else? Let's find out. May Lord of the no. Forest protect Nature is Bills balanced and, and real. <laughs> All right, here we go. My all-time favorite S-plus hero as of right now when it comes to tree spirit. Now, let's get to it. Her core skill is called, Jesus Louise, holy moly. Primal Wrath. Here we go. <sighs> get some reading rainbow going. <laughs> Shape shifts. They just start off with the meat. Here we go. Shape shifts into a war bear for three turns. Then banish the enemy hero in the front row with the highest HP for two turns. I almost said attack. Not gonna lie. HP. Dealing 15% of max HP as damage. Gains fatigue for two turns once the shape shift ends. Whoop. Stop. I do have to up to you guys really quick when it comes to this. When it comes to the highest HP hero, it is not who the highest HP is. At the start of the game, it is whoever has the highest HP at that moment, she uses Primal Wrath. Yes. So if your Phoenix or Averis decides to obliterate, you know, someone you were trying to remove from play for two turns, well, guess what? There goes that plan, hands down. And sometimes it does happen, depending on how the game turns out. Yes. So it chooses the person with the highest HP at that very moment. Okay, so war bear form increased damage reduction by 20% and increased status resist by 100%. What does that mean? Maybe it'll tell us. Here we go. Banish targets affected by banish cannot be targeted. The effect ends when the enemy has no other heroes. Fatigue cannot cast any skills. Reduce attack by 50% for two turns. Cannot be dispelled. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Whew. Level two. Oops. Level two, shape shifting restores fifty percent of lost HP. Banish damage increases to twenty percent of max HP. Grants one free cast of Primal Roar after shape shifting. <laughs> and I can't stand that because when you go against Catherine, it triggers her cannons twice. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Level three, shape shifting restores seventy percent. Shape shifting restores seventy five percent of lost HP. Whoa. Banish damage increases to thirty percent of max HP. Grant one free cast of Primal Roar after shape shifting. Oh man, dude, she is a monster, dude. She's just so good. Oh man, I'm right, moving on. We have a shredding sweep. Deals two hundred percent of attack as damage to the first unit. In war bear form, gain 100 energy after a basic attack and recover 20% of HP. Consume all energy to cast Primal Roar. Deals 100% attack as damage to all enemies, reducing their armor by 20%. Oh, I didn't know that. She actually reduces their armor. Did not know that. Okay. Level 2. Increased damage to 250% of attack in war bear form. Recover 25% HP. Increased damage to... Man, okay, so I'm just gonna skip to level three, hands down. Even though we already read level two, increased damage to 300% of attack. When she's in war bear form, she recovers 30% HP, increases damage to 200% of attack, and reduces enemy armor by 30% for two turns. Man, there's just too many numbers. If you didn't comprehend that, then it's cool because I barely comprehend that, hands down. It just means she's good. Yeah, holy crap. Yo, Hero Clash, we, we need to clean this up. This is just, there needs to be a simpler way to explain this. It's just, <laughs> yeah. okay, moving on to Primal Protection. Blessing of Nature grants Farinelli, a stronger form, increases armor by 15% and damage reduction by 5%. Bro. I feel like reading Rainbow Hero Class Edition. Oh my goodness. There's just so much. Armor bonus is double when in war bear form. Oh, that's cool. Level 2, increase armor by 20% and damage reduction by 10%. Level 3, increase armor by 25% and damage reduction by 15%. Yeah! Man. 
Level four, three exclusive legendary relics. Bonus to damage reduction is doubled when in warbear form. Cool. Okay, moving on to Yursa's protection. Here we go. Yursa's protection. Protect allies in the same row. My neck hurts. Ugh. At the start of the battle, grant a shield equal to 10% of max HP to allies in the same row. In warbear form, grant 10% damage reduction to allies in the same row. Okay. So a shield and damage reduction? Cake. Walk, baby. Level 2. Increase shield strength to 15% and damage reduction to 15%. Level 3. Increase shield strength to 20% and damage reduction to 20%. Level 4. 20... Or geez, was 9 exclusive red legendary relics. Increase shield to 25% and damage reduction to 25%. So, I'm going to say what I will do 100%. And this is the Alvarez Stopper. Right here. Boom. Too easy. And then I'm going to slap on good old HP. We're getting that bonus 20% HP. And then, of course, we're getting the good old 60% chance to counterattack with 50% of damage taken. When HP falls below 25%, recover 25% of HP. Can only be triggered once. Yes, I feel like level 6 Banshee is slept on. It is the best defensive ruin in the game. Phantom Who? Guardian, what? Okay, guard is actually pretty good. I think Phantom sucks, in my opinion. However, I recommend good old HP. Now, you could... You know what? I, I'm not going to recommend anything else. I say you just go with the good old super duper defense right here. Okay. Now, let's move on to... Can you guess what these are? You guessed it correct. HP, 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 yes. Dude, just, I just want to take a, a moment of silence for this greatness. Three HPs, not including the Renaissance. Man. So gorgeous. You know how hard it is to pull this? Pure luck, yo. Okay, so when it comes to the good old artifacts... When it comes to the Esper, I have no idea. I'm probably going to slap on the time. Actually, no, I want her to heal. I would do time amulet or sun amulet. Actually, no, I would go with sun amulet. Forget damage reduction. We're going with sun amulet. Yeah, we'll go with sun 100%. Boom. And then when it comes to this, we have Heart of Nature, her exclusive gear skill. I am so out of order right now. Level 10, recover 10 energy when attacked. And then level 20, recover 15 energy when attacked. And level 30, Warrior Bear Guard gains a bonus shield and extends the duration of Shapeshift by two turns. Jeez, by two turns? Jeez Louise, okay, cool. I didn't know that. And level 40, which will be at soon, attack steal bonus damage equal to 5% of max HP to the target. Yes, I can't wait to get her to level 40. So close. Only... 280 stones to go. <laughs> and talents, 100% legendary. I'm going to have to go with Asper Shield, Mythic, Selfless Protection, Transcendent. I'm going to have to go with Violent Recovery, 100%. Yes, 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 yes. And then External Talent, I'm going with the good old Rampart, baby. Let's go. Too easy. Okay. And am I missing anything before we move on? I don't think so. Tutorial. Here we go. Let's see. Time amulet. I 100% agree. I rec I would actually recommend the uh, the sun amulet just because you get the attack as well, and you can make her uh, even more OP, right? Can remember there's a there's a cap on damage reduction. I think it's hard coded at 70%. I believe. I was told it was 60%. Then I was also told it was 70%. So. If you try to go past 70% damage reduction, it's capped. So it doesn't matter if you're supposed to get 100% damage reduction. It's No, it's capped at 70%, okay? So with that being said, Angel Headband. No. Nope. Ignore that. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad, hands down, because you got the attack and the HP. It's not too bad. So, yeah. Okay. So with that being said, my final thought when it comes to Dream... <laughs>
I'm proud to say she's on my number one team when it comes to obliterating any enemy in the game, any competition in Hero Clash. So my advice for y'all would be work on her after you get Fagin maxed out or high up in the Awakening levels and Elvertus. I'd say work on her third or maybe fourth. She's extremely OP and you're going to need her in the future, especially if you're a brand new free to play player or a pay to win player, okay? We are ending the Tree Spirit Faction with a bang. When it comes to Dream being the final Tree Spirit Faction hero, <laughs> with the exception of the brand new one coming soon, it's time to move on to... Oh yeah, cannot wait. <laughs> Nightfall Faction, let's go! <laughs> Greatness, man of it.